In 2025, being in a Teams or Zoom meeting is just a common everyday thing for office and business work. And as a project manager, it's very important to know how to host those meetings and run them in a way that's smooth and fluid. Hey everyone, Tech Dad here, and I am a project manager in my eight to five job, and so I use Teams and Zoom every day. I host meetings all day long, I bring team members together, I go through agendas, I go through budgets, I map out project schedules, all in these virtual conferences. And I use my iPad Pro is my only computer, so I don't use a Mac or a PC. So I'm using my iPad Pro to run all these meetings and get this productivity work done every day. And in this video, I wanna give you a complete guide on how to use Teams, Zoom, and even Outlook to schedule and run your meetings. Because I'm gonna be honest, it's very different from running these programs on a computer. There are some different ways that things work and there are some limitations. So if you're like me and you're trying to use your iPad for productivity, you're gonna to wanna to know those things before you jump into running a meeting. Now, my primary focus will be on Outlook and Teams because I use those for most of my work purposes, but I am going to highlight Zoom because it's obviously a very strong competitor and lots of folks in business use that one as well. All right, so let's jump in. Okay, so before we start, you have to have a good setup in order to host Teams or Zoom meetings. If you're just joining a meeting, a tablet is fine. You can do that from your phone and function just fine. But I'm talking about if you actually want to host the meeting, you're going to need some accessories to make sure that everything works well for you and that you can actually be productive in that meeting. And so the first thing I'm going to recommend is that you have a good keyboard and trackpad. I use the Magic Keyboard. I absolutely love it. It's great for typing on and turning my iPad into a computer-like device so I can be more productive. I would also strongly recommend you use a secondary display, and I would recommend that if you were using a Mac or PC. It's just a whole heck of a lot easier to host a meeting if you've got a second screen. You've got more screen real estate, so you can set up your windows. Some windows you want to share, others you don't. And so having a second secondary display no matter what device you're using. It's just going to make things a lot easier. Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about is actually scheduling meetings for Teams in particular. And so if you're in a Microsoft environment, I would recommend you actually use the Outlook app to schedule. The Teams interface on the iPad isn't that great. It's got the little scrolly wheel, so you have to scroll through for dates and times. That's just not a good interface. The Outlook app has a real calendar where you can quickly find the date you need. And you can also check other people's calendars very quickly to see who's available. Like I said, if if you're in a Microsoft environment, it should populate your other team members and their calendar so that you can easily find a day and time that works for everybody. And it will become a Teams meeting automatically, and so when you add it to your Outlook calendar, it's going to populate in your Teams calendar as well. So again, use Outlook for scheduling. It's very nice, very convenient, and very quick. Even on the iPad, the Outlook app is pretty darn good. Okay, so once you actually have your Teams meetings scheduled, then you need to host them. And so let's talk about some basics while you're hosting. So first of all, you can select a back background. Lots of people are doing this nowadays. You don't want people seeing your background. So you can pick a blurred background or one of the various images that Microsoft Teams provides. You have the option before entering the meeting to mute or to turn your camera off. One thing that's annoying on all devices is finding that mute button. And so if you're using Apple's AirPods, I would recommend that you use the one click feature. So if you use one click on your AirPod, you will mute or unmute yourself. I love that feature. I don't have to find the mute button. I can just click that on the AirPod and boom, I'm muted or unmuted. So handy, that's a pro tip. Now something else about the iPad is when you minimize the Teams app, it's going to automatically go into picture in a picture. And I actually really like this feature, but you can turn it off in settings. So if you go to the multitasking feature inside of settings, there is a toggle switch to turn off the picture in a picture feature. But again, I like to use that and it's a quick way to click on it and go back to the Teams call and see what's going on. Okay, so one of the most important things about hosting a meeting is the ability to share your screen. That is critical. So the thing you need to know about the iPad is you cannot share secondary displays. So if you connect to a secondary display, you're not going to be able to choose to share that screen. You can only share the iPad screen right now. I'm really hoping iOS 19 fixes that. I'm hoping for some better updates. Because in addition to not being able to share your screen, you also can't pick different windows. So on a Mac or PC, you can select a specific window you want to share. So it doesn't share the whole thing. Well, not on Teams. You have to pick the whole screen or nothing. They're technically is an option where you can share a photo, but that's not very useful. So I would love to see in iOS 19 where we could share a different display or we can pick a specific application or window that we can share. So my advice to you is still use a secondary display, but use that secondary display to put the Teams window on so you can see folks on their camera, you can see how they're interacting, and you can also see the chat, which is really important. And I actually like to open two windows. So when you're using Stage Manager on that secondary display, grab another instance of Teams 
teams and open up the chat for your meeting because I'm often getting chats during the meeting people with questions that don't want to just shout out and so it's really nice just to have the chat window up and the cameras on that secondary display and then I use my iPad display to actually show the content I want to share such as a PowerPoint presentation or a website smart sheet whatever now let's talk about zoom for just a second so zoom has always been a little bit ahead of Microsoft teams on the iPad I think because the iPad and zoom are used so much in education and through the COVID years they really had to get their app working well and so you have a few more options in zoom when you share screen you can pick from various drives that you have on the iPad which is okay or you can pick a website and it loads in the zoom browser so it's okay it's not like a full-on browser but at least there's an option to share something else but again you can't access specific applications or specific windows that you have open zoom's app to schedule meetings is sort of similar to Microsoft teams it's got the little scrolly wheels for dates you're probably better off going to zoom's website to schedule a meeting but if you do it through the app you can at least select your Outlook calendar or any calendar that you want so that you can make sure that that event populates on your calendar other than that zoom is very similar to Microsoft teams it has the same rules about sharing screen you still have the shortcut with airpods to mute or unmute so you're going to get a very similar experience with zoom or teams okay so those are some of the ways that I function on teams and zoom and it works well for me like I said I use my iPad every day to host these meetings and it goes very well but there are some changes I'd like to see in iOS 19 I'm really hoping they come out with some more computer like functionality so we can host our meetings even better so I hope this guide was helpful let me know if there's something else you'd like to know about with teams or zoom in the comments below I'll take a look at those that's all I got for you if you like this sort of content please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time